Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to quickly say that I love you very much. I've always loved you. That The message of love that I have for you have has never faded. It's never been anything but a message of love. Anytime that I've gotten angry on a video, it is me voicing my opinion against something that I don't agree with, especially in terms of interracial dating and white supremacy. I don't agree with racism at all, and I never practice racism. I don't care what anybody believes me to do. It's just not true at all. My videos show the love and respect that I have for my people, for my community. It shows the concern that I have for black women as well as the loyalty that I have to them, as well as giving props and respect, proper respect to black men who are just like me, who love their women, who love their community and will do anything to fight for and protect that community. My videos are about empowering black women or about promoting black love. My videos are not about promoting interracial relationships or advocating white supremacy or racism because I don't do that on this channel. I never have on any channel I've had. There are hateful people out there that want to see me gone because I'm a black man. I'm supposed to be out there, you know, going after white women and talking dirty about black women in the very most negative way possible. I'm not supposed to be standing up for black women. I'm not supposed to be showing my love and showing slideshows of black family and black love. You know, I'm not supposed to do stuff like that because I'm a black man, right? Well, you got the wrong black man because the right black man is right here, okay? The right black man for the job of loving his people, for showing nothing but, you know, black love, preaching black family goals, okay? I'm a 40-year-old man, almost 41 years old, don't look it, don't sound it, and I'm, I'm blessed by God for that fact because most people in my family don't look the age they are. I'm blessed for that, and I'm happy that I don't look like I'm 41. I have no gray hair or anything like that. I'm good right now, okay? There are some young people that watch me like 18 to 20-something years old, maybe even their, their late 20s. I'm not preaching to these younger people to tell them to hate white people or anybody else outside their community who's not black. I am simply telling these people who didn't have the opportunity to grow up the, the same, you know, the same time that I did, that these agendas that are being pushed now with transgender and, you know, this uh, agenda in the um, LGBT community that it takes place, this SJW stuff that takes place now, and especially this interracial dating and turn the other cheek when it comes to racism, is things that we did not have to deal with when I was growing up. Do we know about racism? Of course we did. Racism never died. And f to an extent, we did try to come to some kind of understanding where we could become friends with people outside of our community. And me, I had a lot of friends from different nationalities. I saw a person as a person, and I still do to this day. But I know that there are people in my community who are hateful. I know there are people in the so-called dominant society that are hateful and other parts of ethnicities that are hateful. But at the same time, I'm not preaching hatred. I'm preaching to my people, black women and black men, to love themselves, love each other, and love their children. We cannot be as selfish as we want to be to just care about what happens to us because we have children that are growing up in this world. And when we are older, they will be the next generation. They, we don't want them to deal with the same things that we have to deal with now or that our ancestors had to deal with back in the day. I'm simply a black man that cannot respect any black person that coddles white supremacy. If you see racism is going on, you know racism is wrong, especially a black person. Whether you be directly affected by it or you have read about what your ancestors have gone, you know, your ancestors have gone through um, when it comes to racism and discrimination. You should never turn a blind eye and try to make excuses for these people and try to make them feel comfortable because you, you know, you have a friend that happens to be outside of your community. The problem with a lot of black people is the fact that they have friends who are white and they don't want to make their white friends uncomfortable. They don't want to do that. I'm going to make my friends who are white feel uncomfortable. They're going to feel uncomfortable just like when I feel uncomfortable, when I'm being called certain names and when I'm being made to feel a certain type of way when I shouldn't be feeling a certain type of way. The problem is a lot of people don't want to talk about racism, but they'll be quick to tell you that racism doesn't exist anymore, that it's gone, that it's dead, that it's vanished because we have people that are in interracial relationships. Interracial relationships are a huge problem in the black community, just like racism is, just like colorism is. Interracial relationships make black men weak. They do not fight for their community when they are with these white women. 
Interracial relationships make black women look foolish when they're creating books and handbooks, I should say, instruction manuals on how to how to attract a man who's not black. You have to. Th I've said this before, and I'm gonna say it again. This video is not gonna be too long. I'm probably gonna do like maybe five minutes or so more, and I'm done. You cannot simply tell me with a straight face that it makes sense to you that black women are reading books on how to attract white males. You cannot tell me that makes sense. You cannot tell me it makes sense that a black man will take shit from a white woman that he won't take from a black woman. He, he literally excuses the white woman's dirty behavior, but will not excuse the dirty behavior of a black woman. You cannot tell me it makes sense that black people are still outside here going and promoting interracial relationships when they see that racism is getting even worse. How does that make sense? Oh, it doesn't make sense. That's why. This channel is not about hatred. I don't give a damn if you think I'm a hateful person. My mother knows I'm not a hateful person. The white friends that I have from high school and college know I'm not a hateful person. They actually respect me for what I'm doing. For standing up and putting my voice out there. And I'm glad I have their respect. I'm glad I have the respect of my family. I'm glad to have respect of my peers. But you'll have some people on YouTube that will say, oh, he's breaking YouTube guidelines because he's talking about white supremacy. He's talking against interracial relations. I have every fucking right to voice my opinion against something as long as I'm not, as, not, as long as I'm not telling you to go out there and hate somebody. As long as I'm telling you I don't hate them. As long as I'm not telling you to go out there and inflict violence against someone because of, of their skin, of the color of their skin. I don't do that. I don't do that. I will tell you that I'm not afraid of white people because I'm not. I'll tell you I'm not afraid of black people either because I'm not. There are black people that seek to destroy other black people because they want to do white supremacy's, uh, you know, work for them. It's sad, but it's true. I don't come on here with a fucking script. I don't come on here, you know, telling you black people to get wild up and go out there and start murdering white people. That's not what the fuck is about. I get on here to tell you how much I love you. I get on here to tell you what's on my mind. I get on here to tell you exactly what I'm thinking from my heart. No script, no Patreon, no money. This is me on my own time talking to my people because you know why? I love my people. I love my sisters. I'm so sick of hearing about sisters getting murdered, sisters going missing. I'm sick of hearing about black men getting killed for what, you know, for, 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 for stupid things like you step on somebody's shoes, bump into somebody, they're killing each other. Then you got black men getting murdered by the police. You got black people as a whole getting murdered by police. I don't like seeing shit like this. I ignored it. Even though I knew what was going on, I ignored it because it wasn't happening to me. It doesn't have to happen to me for me to have to say something about it. You people are my community. You people are not related to me by blood, but you are my family. And if something happens to you, it does affect me. If a little black girl dies because she was abused, and I talked about that situation, that affects me. She doesn't have to be my daughter. She doesn't have to be, you know, my sister. It's a black child. She's a member of our community. It hurts me. And I especially get hurt when I hear things like that about kids. We got black women that are still missing and nobody gives a shit. Some people do, but the media is not pushing the narrative long and hard enough for people to open their eyes and understand this is a situation that needs to be dealt with, that needs to be investigated because a lot of black women are going missing. They're not being found. And even back in the 70s and the 60s when they went missing, they wound up murdered. Okay. I told about the murders of black women as well. My women are not expendable. My women are queens. They don't deserve to be killed. They deserve to be loved, respected, and protected with the highest amount of order and the highest amount of courage that any man can have and muster inside of him. Just like you would protect your mother, just like you would protect your daughter, your grandmother, your aunt, your sister, okay? You protect your woman. You protect our women as a black man. You don't go out there and degrade them, make fools of yourselves, looking like complete assholes on YouTube and other forms of social media because you're trying to make money. I can't respect any black man that gets on a platform and dogs out black women. I have a huge issue with that, as most of you know, despite the detractors out there that want to tell me that I don't give a shit about black women because I don't care you know, when black men date out, which is a lie. I don't like dating out at all for any person in our community, black men or black women. End of story. 
I love our people and I always will. That's why I show slideshows of beautiful black women. That's why I show slideshows of black couples. It may not get all the views I wanted to get, but there are people watching and there are people that believe in black love just like I do. I live it every fucking day. I'm married to a black African queen. I love you people very much. Please always remember that. And I'll talk to you next time. Take care of yourselves.